Welcome back, everyone. Let's get on with our weather. What has been going on out there? Well, first of all, just a great day to get outside. Indiana State Fair, beautiful skies above it. There's been all these awesome cars from the auctions going on the last couple days around the area as well. So hopefully, again, it's not just the speedway that's heating up. It's the temperatures uh, for everyone that we're going to feel even warmer than it is outside today. Humidity's not too bad. Clear skies overhead, 79 degrees. A breeze from the southeast, maybe not as breezy as we'd like it to hopefully uh, cool things down a little bit, but in general, not too bad with 70s and 80s, right around the 80 degree mark, just give or take a few degrees almost all across state. The wind's not really doing all too much. They're out of variable directions around zero to five miles per hour for the most part. As we talked about, there's a little something here or there, maybe a shower or two out near Lafayette. If there's going to be a rain shower in your neighborhood, it'll be maybe a 10% chance if that, and it'll likely be a 15 minute downpour or even just a light rain and then it'll kind of leave itself. The atmosphere just isn't built for strong storms at least ahead of this cold front and honestly once this cold front moves into our region it's not going to do all too much damage. We're getting hit by the tail end of it so right now you can see closer towards the upper part of it uh, some severe weather going on in looks like uh, right now Michigan, Wisconsin but we're likely not going to actually see too much rain from that. It's another system out near uh, California that we'll wait till the beginning of next week to see some showers from. So here's that dying cold front again not doing too much as it moves into our state for tomorrow. Looking at a couple of clouds outside, maybe a raindrop or two from the cold front off in the northernmost part of the state, but in general, central Indiana stays dry tomorrow and uh, likely most of Monday as well. So let's recap things tonight. We're dry, we're mild, temperatures at 62 degrees. We move into tomorrow's forecast where we'll see a mostly sunny, if not completely sunny day. We'll keep an eye out for a little patchy fog in the morning hours and warm conditions towards the afternoon. Warm weather coming our way for quite a while and not just warm, but humid weather as well. Good news is we're not getting the miserable levels, dew points over 70 degrees, but it will be slightly uncomfortable for a while. And also we've been talking about it. Pollen levels have been high and now we're adding in, you know, those little white flying around fluffy things outside the cottonwood, which is going to be something that if you have allergies to, like my mom, I know she struggles with it. So you might not be having a great day pollen wise coming up with all the heat and sunshine. But if you are not struggling with outdoor allergies, you're having a great time. Only a few showers again sneaking in, maybe something late Monday night late Tuesday into Wednesday, and maybe a few showers sneaking in at times the next weekend. But in general, things don't look too bad for next weekend's Indy 500, and there's still plenty of time to go for things to change.